so you you mentioned, for instance, that or you suggested that the, the 2011-2012 results uh, is as a result of the four-year uh, scheme. Uh, uh, Professor Yanka of Central University College is suggesting, for instance, that perhaps uh, the three-year uh, thing, uh, SS thing, is not working. Uh, the chief of Sevilla uh, Miasu in the Western Region. Um, is also asking your flag bearer to bring back the four-year uh, school system, SS system, because he thinks that that is the reason why uh, the results are that bad. Is the MPP thinking about that? Uh, when you say the results are that bad, they will say you're <laughs> But is he bright? No, but bright, you see... I mean, this green book, I haven't put that patch of it. Oh, he said he's giving yeah, you okay. one. I, I would go ahead. Uh, or you're not reading it. No, it's you're okay. Not to read right. It. <laughs> Looking at the green book, mm. and uh, indeed, I'm sure this will be of interest to everybody. Yes, the cameras can capture it. You see, looking at the green book, the period 2012, mm. this is the highest 31% performance. Plus. This is the highest performance. And it's the four year. Hmm? The, the four year was introduced in 2008. Mm. They finished in 2011, 2012, and that is the highest performance. So, just looking at the results alone will tell you that there is something in the, in the four in, years. In the four year. Um, it, it, I think the main reason why the NDC said they, they were not going to do the four year was on the basis of cost. Because otherwise, why not do it? Because it had already started. It was the basis of cost. But as we speak, Bright, the children who today would not be able to go to university do not qualify. 131,000. What is going to be the cost of these 131,000 young men and women the ages of 17 and 18 who couldn't go to university? Because they couldn't qualify. You see, so we will be focusing on cutting costs. You know, what, I think there's some saying that uh, penny wise, pound foolish or something. You'll be concentrating on saving costs and you'll be incurring more costs. Because uh, 131,000, 33% uh, 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 are able to go to university, the rest are not able to go. 131,000. It's a major cost to everybody to parents, to government, and all of that. So the, the statistics show that the four-year performance, mm. the, the performance of the four years, much higher than any of the years since 2006. Can and, we just use the, one year to, to make a, that conclusion? Yeah, but that was the only year. Okay, all right. That was the only year for the four yeah. years. We don't have, you know, it was cancelled. It was cancelled. But those in it already finished their four years. And their results. And you see, the other thing too is this, Bright. As we speak in this country, the economy is not doing well to absorb people who, young people who come out of school. So in this kind of situation, it is better to keep young people longer in school so they can broaden their knowledge and do better in examinations than rushing them out and they will come out not having the same knowledge that they could have acquired and also not having a job because the jobs are not there because the economy is not growing as well as it should. So even on the basis of the, the relationship between the production of graduates and jobs, it's in your own interest that you keep them longer in school if there were so many jobs available and you were getting manpower shortages, then you want to get people through school quickly. I remember uh, my, my parents telling me that, you know, when Kwame Nkrumah was establishing so many factories in those days, he brought something they called the Accelerated Education Program. And so my, my mother would tell me that as a result of that, they, all of them passed through very quickly. Mm. Because there was obviously a plan and there was a demand for labor and so on. Now the economy is not doing so well. The, is way is way behind the, the increase in the in the in the people finishing school. So why rush them? 
Well, I'm I, I think if you look at the if you look at the, the report, mm. uh, the killers, you see every stakeholder, parents, teachers, the government, etc., students themselves have a role to play, and mm. said that indication that duration was a non-starter, and there was others who had done it in three years and have performed very well. The question is that. Why are others performing very well? In fact, even in, 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 three years. in these three years, some of them are having fantastic results. Seven A's, eight A's, and others. So I believe that it is a question of one attitude. I mean, it's a question of the, the no, overall... Senior, I'm not, I'm not over, cutting you. Over, over, see, there, there is, no, we are not taking no, this off your mic. You see? Okay. Over, Senior, over, I'm not cutting over, you, but just a small point. Mm. You see, we are not talking about individual performances. You understand? You see? So... I mean, you can have somebody even two years, mm. and they'll blow all A's. But that would not be the average. So you're looking at the general... Yeah, the general thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, you've you've that, closed the page. That, that, that's, 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 you've closed the page. If you open the page again, you will see very clearly that the highest performance was the four years. Was in 2012. I think that if you, if you look at it critically, one cannot end on that conclusion. Because even on that, in that year, I think that there were two... Batches. The two batches, three years and four years, who sat the examination the same year. And so, you, you, unless you disaggregate it before you'll be able to come out of that. So, so, so my, you my, need to stay with the my, three years. My, my issue is that it is not how long you stay. First, if you put in order, you can, somebody can go and stay there for five years and will still not make it. I am saying that let us see what role each of the stakeholders will play. Mm. To ensure that to provide the books, you provide the infrastructure, you give them teachers, and the students themselves are not, you know, up to it, are not prepared to learn. We have a problem. We are talking about English, and I'm saying that look at the English issues. What are some of the factors that have contributed? I have an English teacher who tells me that some of the children write essays and they are using uh, short codes that they use on WhatsApp and all those things. So I think that as parents, we need to monitor. As society, we need to play a role to ensure that everybody, you know, plays a certain role to ensure that. Otherwise, it's not a question. You can just increase it to five years. People will still go there. When we had uh, five years secondary education, people go there, stay there five years old level. And some come up, fair, 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 fair. So it is not that. I think that we need to look at what is wrong. Science and math, key. Why? Is it a question of not having more science teachers, more math teachers? Let us address all those issues. Hmm. Those are the issues that are germane to finding the solution to why we are getting low scores in mathematics and science. For all you know, how many science teachers are concentrating on the teaching of science and math? And so these are the things that we have to look at. When they brought the science and mathematics class for girls, mm. there was every indication that after the program ran for some time, girls were doing very well in the sciences and mathematics than boys. So it depends on what intervention we bring at any point in time to ensure that we are able to address these issues head on. Mm. Mm. I'm grateful. I two, think we'll, 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 the first then one, we'll move on. the, my, 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 and my senior brother, he is a very senior member of the NDC. They should cut down the propaganda. What is propaganda? <laughs> number two. What is propaganda about this? Number, number two. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, there's always this fundamental problem that affects all of us. That people like he and myself, who you can say are managers of the system, or would be managers of the system. We don't have our children in the system. So it's, it, there's always that problem. The man or the woman who's managing the system, his or her children are outside the system. So it affects what he would put into the system. I don't know if we can have come to the, the place where we would say that every uh, minister or political public appointee official. should have their children in the public system. And you would see the kind of attention and focus that will come onto the public system. But they should cut the propaganda. Well, so, well you see, you see on, 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 that, on that score, let me, say that, goes <laughs> let, me, let me say that a borders on supervision. Because people set up their private schools, and because the ultimate is to at least break even, they ensure that they supervise teachers to teach, they supervise students. So I think it's a collective responsibility that as public schools are state schools, the supervision is key, mm. and we must emphasize on it and ensure that 
people deliver results at the end of the day. I agree. <laughs> but it's we, the managers, who must who, make sure the supervisors works. go and work. Okay. If you don't All have right. your children there, how are you going to bother? Okay, let's touch on this one for the Ghanaian find out that Ofusu Ampofo will oh, go to okay. the school where his children are yeah. to find out that the teachers are there. He won't go to the school. <laughs> I, 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 I can assure you that. I can assure you that right. my commitment getting, to public schools is I, higher. I'm getting too early on <laughs> you, go, you go to my villages right, and check Friday. my contribution towards those public schools. Okay. <laughs>